jailed. Dot, 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 slave boss who paid workers in chip shop scraps. He was convicted of six slavery charges relating to four victims and of supplying Class C drugs, following a trial at Newcastle Crown Court last month. Judge Sari Mallet told him, Your business model was largely predicated on free labor and the most minimal expenditure into your business to extract the maximum profit. Barianna, of Netherton Colliery, Northumberland, who has previous convictions for dishonesty, illegal money lending, selling counterfeit goods and making threats, ran takeaways in Sunderland and Blythe, Northumberland. He also rented rooms in multi-occupancy homes in Blythe to people facing homelessness. Barianna, who was paid housing benefit, took extra cash from tenants for gas and electricity and made them work for free. Jobs included clearing a blocked sewer without gloves. Another man had his shoes, belt and watch removed to stop him from going missing and avoiding work and an alcoholic just out of prison was set to work tiling a blithe takeaway, Antonio's, which took him all night. The man, in his forties, said he worked at the shop from 9.30am until the early hours, serving chips and making pizzas. He said, I got food every night, basically leftovers. I worked for him, Barianna every day for four to five months, apart from two days. Asked if he was ever paid, he replied, not really. He bought a bottle of alcohol every night. I'm alcohol dependent, he knew that. Another victim said he was being forced to work ten hours a day for food and soft drinks. Judge Mallet, who said there was bullying, threats, slaps and violence involving a person tumbling down a flight of stairs, told Barianna. You exploited their vulnerability by way of addiction, you fed and encouraged their addiction to alcohol and on occasions, drugs. After sentencing, Chief Inspector Helena Barron of Northumbria Police said some saw modern slavery as people being trafficked into the UK from abroad, but the difference here is that these were white British men who had lived all or most of their lives in the North East. She added, this can happen anywhere and police forces are making people aware of that.